Hey guys, it's me. And I'm still fighting with this camera. But I got a surprise today. Well, it wasn't a big surprise. I knew that Sujay was sending me something. And I sent her something. Hang on here. I sent her... We sent their boxes out on the same day, and so hopefully she got hers today. And I also sent Shawnee a little package. Shawnee's pretty in ink, and she already sent me a message saying that she had gotten it, so yay! Yay for wonderful friends and mail. So, let me show you what uh, Sue J sent me. And I've already done this video, so everything's out of the box. But here is this little photo album, and it's a Colo mini photo album, and it's awesome because it's black cardstock. And I'm going to be doing a, um, a wedding album for my daughter and her husband. They got married last April, and their wedding colors were white, red, and black. So I'm going to be doing a 12 by 12, and I've never done one before. But I may also do a little mini um, for them. This is awesome. She sent, she got this from Craigslist, and she has already has one. So this one is for me, and it is creative keepsakes, fun with photos, memories, and more. And what it is, it is full of. It's a three ring binder, and it's full of ideas. Uh, scrapbook page layouts, cards, invitations. So here's a scrapbook page. Here are uh, peekaboo bunny invitations. They even have a section in here on, um, well, there's weddings and family heritage, which will help me because I've never done, like they say, uh, a full album before. But this section here, fun with photos. Know how to take great pictures and have fun doing it. So a lot of really helpful tips. So I'm excited to start looking through this and uh, be able to reference it when I need some ideas. So thank you, my dear. It's a really nice book. Um, and then you guys, look at what I got. I got two of these balsa boxes. This is more like, uh, I don't know if it's like a pencil box or if the other one is, but they're a little different shape. And how much fun is this going to be to alter? I love altering things. And I'm altering something for the Tim Coffee Big Give on your paper pantry. And then this one is the other wood box, like the, the pencil box, and it has the, uh, the closure here. She sent me a package full. Wait, you guys see these. Like I say, this is all out because I already did this video, and it came out all blurry. I don't know why. Look at these beautiful butterflies, you guys. Are these not gorgeous? So there are three big ones and three small ones. Aren't those gorgeous? Girl, you're going to have to tell me where you got some of this stuff. Here's some little either Prima or Recollections paper flowers and I love the shape of these. I don't have any this small. Um, I just have the bigger ones so these are really going to be nice for layering. And where in the world did you get this or did you make this? This is fabulous. The uh, fabric leaves and um, the, it's like a, a fabric, like a, almost like a starched fabric for the flowers. And then this beautiful center. Sue Jay, where did you get that? Did you make it? She sent me this beautiful trim. It is an ivory color and it has little seed pearls on it. Although I didn't open the packages last time. Oh my God, look at that, you guys. Whoa. I'm really glad I opened this up. That is beautiful. 
and here's another package of trim. Tomorrow my husband's cousin and his wife and one of their daughters, the youngest daughter, um, are coming into town. Oh, look at this. It's a crocheted, again an ivory colored crocheted trim. They are coming up tomorrow. They get in around 5 o'clock. Um, and they'll be here till Sunday. They want to see the Ice Art Championships. Look at this one. That is so gorgeous. And then she tied this one around it. And I, I love this too. The very vintage retro. The red and the white. And Sujay, I don't know what these are. <laughs> I'm confessing my stupidity. My ignorance. What are they? Help. I really don't know what they are. I mean, I could think of ways to use them, but... And then look at these buttons, you guys. Now, I don't know if these are true vintage or if they are vintage inspired, but look at these. I hope you can see that. They have these beautiful centers. And uh, green, two are kind of an, well, I guess an aqua color. Or maybe they all, are they all the same color and they just look different in the different lights? I'm not sure. Um, I didn't open them. And then she sent me two of these, and again, I wonder, did you make these? These are really cool. Or did you buy these somewhere? But how awesome are these? You could do so much, you know, do put a sentiment and pretty stuff inside and then fold it up. And uh, so it's like, a, it's like a card and an envelope all in one. And then you could uh, put a pretty sticker back here to hold it together or, a, you know, and um, your monogram. So she sent me two of those, and then this really cute white and pink card. I don't think she made that envelope. And then she sent me some stickers. This one's really cute. Toddler, mother, adventure. I'm trying to read backwards in the mirror. Uh, she sent me two sheets of these bright colored basic shapes. Um, she sent me two of these awesome ticket tag things. I'm not sure where you got some of this stuff, Sue J. You have to tell me. These are really awesome. Um, and then she sent me all of these pages that are just beautiful. Look at. Are these Webster's pages? Because the little, there's a little thingy here on the bag and it says something about Webster's pages. Lobsters and a whale. How cute! Sailboats and anchors. And look at this. Oh, I just love that. And then on the back is the farmer's market. How do you decide which side to use? That's my problem. There's this one. And that's the back of that. These are pretty easy for me. I'd use these as opposed to the other side. But when they have real pretty designs on both sides, how do you choose? I love this one with the flowers and the bird. That's the back of that. I've never had Webster's pages before, so if that's what these are, they are gorgeous. Look at that one. would be one that I'd have a hard time choosing, but I would pick this. Or maybe I could even cut it in half, you know, and use one side, you know, use it on a card. Or make two cards. Oh, it's just one. How cool is that? The silhouettes back here. And, oh, I just love. Reminds me of the Dick and Jane books. 
that I learned to read with when I was a child. And that page. She sent me these uh, sunflower pieces. They're not stickers, I don't believe. So they punch out. Really cute. Oh, and along with those beautiful pages are these little vintage tags. The beautiful pictures on the front. And then in the back, they have little journaling spots. So, yeah, I need to find out where you got those because those are beautiful. And then she sent me these little um, pin closure things. I'm not sure what you call them. But um, they're in kind of an antique bronze color. And they're beautiful. It would be really nice to hang charms and fibers from. I like those. Oh, that went with that little mini album. Uh, and then... She sent me some makeup too. So this is the Jordana. She had done a video on this. And it is the In Color Fabuliner Liquid Eyeliner in Black. 01 Black. And she raved about these. And so um, I'm going to have to try this out and let you guys know how I like it. Maybe I'll do another winged eye look with that. And wait till you see this, you guys. Dun, da, da, the Wet n Wild 8 color palette, Comfort Zone, Petal Pusher, and Blue Had Me at Hello. Did my girl hook me up or what, you guys? I can't, I'm so excited. I can't find these anywhere here, of course, because, you know, it's Alaska and... If we do get them, they, I did find, I think, one of the holiday ones um, at Fred Meyer, and it was all crushed and crumbled, and so. But then she also sent me the little single in Penny. That color is beautiful. I just love Wet n Wild eyeshadows, and in fact, I have one of my trios on today. So I find that I'm reaching for those all the time. So anyway, that is my special gift from my sweet dear friend, Sujay. And I hope you enjoyed it. And Sujay, you have to let me know where you found some of the stuff. And um, what are these? <laughs> All right, you guys, you take care. Oh, and as far as the ice part goes, I, if you guys are interested in seeing these fabulous sculptures, the multi-block sculptures can get up to 20 to 30 feet tall. I mean, they're huge. And um, one year they had a Siberian tiger and... Another year they had wolves chasing a caribou and, I mean, just amazing stuff. They have abstract and realistic. They have the single block sculpture competition, which is done, and then the multi-block, which the artists are working on. They have webcams. So I'll put the link below, and the link is just icealaska.com. It's really simple. Icealaska.com. It's a fabulous event. Um, it's an annual event, and my husband and I both volunteer. He's head of the judging and he does security and I am one of the judges. So it's a it's an awesome event. All right you guys you take care. I hope you're having a beautiful beginning of the week. A beautiful Monday. It's cold here. Rant rant. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I guess I it's pretty much cold here all the time from October through April, but um, hope you're having a wonderful day. I have to take Emmy over to my good friend Natalie's and get her groomed. And I will just talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Love you. Bye.